Президент Российской Федерации Владимир Владимирович Путин. Russian president vowing to continue the war in Ukraine as after the US president in a surprise visit to Kyiv. Vowed to continue supporting Ukraine with military and other aid till it wins. President Putin's invasion of Russia began on the 24th of February last year, for which he has blamed the West. He says they want to expand NATO to Russia's borders by making Ukraine a member, and they were close to launching action, which is what he preempted to protect Russia and the eastern parts of Ukraine, which he claimed and annexed. And I would like to reiterate this. It was them who unleashed this war. And the goal of the West is unbridled power. They have already spent more than $150 billion to supply weapons to the Kiev regime. But it was them who let this genie out of the bottle. He's called for more military preparations, signaling he will continue to fight. Important uh, to re-equip our forces and nuclear forces. We have uh, to reach a level of preparation of uh, at least 90% uh, in all the areas of uh, the military force. Uh, those uh, men need to understand that uh, their country is in a position to uh, use the best they can give and they uh, we have the technical means we have a uh, high quality forces much uh, very much superior uh, to their uh, counterparts in other countries but we need to uh, step up uh, the production of our we weapons. This signaling is important in a year the Russian army has gained and lost control of much of Ukraine, except for some bits in the east. Today, however, Putin conceded problems promising health care to injured soldiers, jobs and vacations for families of fallen ones, and a pay hike and subsidized housing for armament workers draftees and volunteers and officers and soldiers of the army are thinking about the supplies for them and about the remuneration for their wounds and injuries that they receive the health care and the requests that the governors are receiving and the ombudsman on the rights of human rights we receive a lot of these requests, and it means that a lot of problems are still not resolved, so we need to take care of every individual case. Russia's war effort suffered setbacks because of supplies, poor management, eventual induction of conscripts, which led to many men fleeing Russia and protests. But now, it's making some gains, thanks to Putin's controversial induction of a ruthless private army led by a close associate, which uses prisoners as soldiers. Putin says the country has everything it needs for its security and its economy is fine. Bureau report, NDTV.